guys, it's HMK here once again from the Kingdom Hearts 3 premiere event. Oh no, I ripped these. Anyways, here to talk about a certain aspect of news that came out during the Kingdom Hearts 3 panel that got shown off before we were allowed to go crazy with the demo and what Namor had to say about the theme of Kingdom Hearts 3, woo, and the ending. Now, the theme of this game is resolution because we've been playing through Kingdom Hearts games for almost 16 years, about 16 years, yeah, since Kingdom Hearts 1 and we're finally gonna get Kingdom Hearts 3 this year. And the theme of the game is resolution where it resolves a lot of things we've been going up and building up to to this game. The Xehanort Saga, the Dark Secret Saga. And that Nomura said that the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 is gonna be very difficult to accept. It's gonna be a difficult ending to swallow and that Kingdom Hearts 3 is one of the more darker stories he's ever worked on. I cannot wait! I'm, <laughs> I'm ecstatic at this news. A lot of people on Twitter when this news broke out, when I broke it up during the panel, a lot of people got scared, a lot of people got anxious. It was like, oh, don't let this person die, don't let Riku die, don't let Donald die. Donald. Don't let this person die, Sora's gonna die, Kyrie's gonna die, Lee's gonna die, oh my goodness. I'm like, it's a lot of death that surrounds everything that a lot of people are talking about when it comes to the darker storyline of Kingdom Hearts 3. And the fact that the ending, the resolution, is gonna be difficult to swallow. Oh boy, but man, speaking of difficult to swallow, I just... I, I really need a drink right now, I just... I just... Oh, that's gonna be difficult, man. Kingdom Hearts 3, why, why, why are they being so difficult? Now, it's funny enough, I had a theory before uh, the Kingdom Hearts 3 premiere event, before going there, in my head, that I've been brewing up for like a couple, of, like I would say about a week, and then when I saw that, when he got the coverage, that just helps drive it home. And I can't wait for you guys to see that theory. I'm working on it right now. It should be out by this week, sometime during this week. But the fact that he said that and this theory, just like, oh boy, are you ready for the end of the Xehanort Saga? The Dark Seeker Saga, the darkest storyline told in Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 3 Resolution, a difficult ending to swallow. Now, there's a lot of things that what this could mean. This could obviously mean death. This can obviously mean themes. Uh, thematic elements in the game that hasn't been explored before in the Kingdom Hearts series or at least you know hasn't been elaborated has been introduced like ever so slightly especially with Dream Drop Distance and you know Sora's relationship with all these other characters uh, including Roxas, Xion, what they went through uh, or uh, Dream Drop Distance and Recoded you know the theme of hurt the theme of hey listen Sora you've been having a free ride all the way up to Kingdom Hearts but all these people Roxas, Axel, Xion, Nominate Terra, Aqua, Vences, all these people have been suffering in the wake of everything that Xehanort has been doing. But hey, you're fine, you're good, you have been pretty happy-go-lucky, but listen, the world that you're in, the world you're trying to protect, the world you're trying to save, it's not, it's not as happy-go-lucky as you would think, Sora. And you have to understand that, and I really hope that is one of the many themes that gets explored in this darker take of Kingdom Hearts in Kingdom Hearts 3, along with the notion that Sora's emotional capacity needs to be expanded! Expanded. Expand. To the point where he truly needs to feel anger, remorse, uh, hate, maybe hate, I don't know, that would betray Sora's character, hate would, but anger, remorse get that guilt boy just like understand that a lot of people have stuck their necks out for you and that they should be their own people like roxas it's funny here it says through the power of positivity and friendship sora doll and goofy unite with iconic disney and pixar characters old and new to prevail, to prevail tremendous challenges and persevere against the darkness threatening their worlds I hope that's challenged. You know, like, they're using the, the, the power of positivity and friendship 
to overcome challenges by hope one of those challenges directly challenges their positivity and friendship because man Sora's too happy not that I don't like that but I just like we, we need we need this man to struggle I want him to struggle emotionally and mentally physically yeah. but those two things in this darker tale now I do like I said before I do have it there I don't want to rip this up because this is from the event so yeah uh, like I said before I do have a massive theory that I was brewing before this now that the fact that Nomura said it's one of the darker storylines he's been working on and that the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 will be difficult to swallow this theory is going to drive home so hard and I'm so excited to show it to you guys and you know it's funny because a lot of people are saying you know I said this before and I'm not going to spoil the movie but I'm like the ending I, the ending of Infinity War I want the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 to make me feel how the ending of Infinity War made me feel and I, yo, when that news broke out, Twitter was spammed with all of that Infinity War ending nonsense. But don't worry, I still won't spoil it for you. Go watch the movie. But for this game, Disney just ripped my heart out. Make me a heartless for this ending, this darker ending. I'm so ready. Let me know what you think that no more means of this darker tale and the fact that this ending is going to be difficult to swallow. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And more Kingdom Hearts 3 videos and news exclusive from the premiere is coming to this channel. I'm nowhere near done. So guys, until the next video, I've been HMK. Be sure to subscribe for more. Like, favorite. And if you'd like to take a step further, consider sponsoring me here on the channel. So guys, until the next video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.